Hey everyone, Stephen here from Red Essence, and welcome back to another fragrance review. Thank you so much for tuning in. And today on my channel, we're going to be taking a look at a fragrance from the house of Salvatore Ferragamo, and the fragrance goes by the name F by Ferragamo Black. So here is the bottle. This one was released in 2009, and the perfumer behind this composition is Olivier Polge. Olivier Polge actually happens to be one of my favorite perfumers. He has done Spice Bomb by Victor and Rolf, Flower Bomb by Victor and Rolf, Midnight in Paris by Van Cleef and Arpels, Queer Beluga by Guerlain. He has done many other fragrances, so he really is quite the rock star in the fragrance industry. Now, there are a few different versions of this scent available. You have the original, which was released in 2007, so two years before the release of this one. This is actually supposed to be a more intense version of the original. And then we have a more recent flanker, which was released in 2011, and that one goes by the name of Free Time. Now, Salvatore Ferragamo started off as an Italian shoe designer, and they branched out into fragrances in 1998. And I couldn't find a classification for this scent online, but because of its prominent note of lavender, I'm going to classify this as an aromatic fougere. And next up, let's take a look at the presentation. So here on the box, you have the name of the fragrance and the name of the company right below that. Size and concentration down here at the bottom. On the very bottom, you have the UPC with the serial number printed right above that. Ingredients on the back and nothing going on at the top. That's it as far as the box goes. And as far as the bottle goes, here it is. I think that this is a really nice bottle, nothing too fancy, but it does have a unique shape to it. I like this black band that encompasses the perimeter of the back here on the side. Pour ohm engraved into this... Um, kind of a metal plaque, I don't know what to call it here in the front. The cap is plastic, although it does have a little bit of weight to it. It clicks into place, but not very securely, so do not pick it up from the cap. And the distribution on this one is actually excellent. And that was the presentation for F by Ferragamo Black. So my friend Paul writes, great scent. The opening is nice and the dry down is very masculine. Malik writes, this is a nice evening scent. It is also a very aggressive scent, so don't apply too much. I wouldn't use this in warmer temperatures too. Nevertheless, it is a very good fragrance. Akash writes, it's a great scent and great for evening and colder season. Women love this scent and it reminds me of La Nuit de Lum. Germaine writes, I love this fragrance, great smell. One of my top three fragrances that I own. Ahmed writes, too much of the black pepper note for me. Smells awesome for a few and starts to annoy me later. Smells like a lipstick with black pepper sprinkled on it. And Alejandro concludes by writing, I have bought, but I didn't like it. Now, I classified this scent as an aromatic fougere, and that's because it does contain a prominent note of lavender. Now, I actually enjoy lavender in many scents. One of my favorites happens to be Eau Noir by Christian Dior, the bottle with the green juice right here behind me. Another one that I really like is A Taste of Heaven by By Killian, and I would argue that Tom Ford's Lavender Palm is probably one of the most natural lavender scents that I have gotten my nose on. As far as the lavender that's used in this scent, it does come across a little unnatural and the initial perception that I had is this is going to smell like a very gentlemanly scent. Invasion Barbar smells very gentlemanly. 1725 Casanova by Histoire de Parfum smells very gentlemanly. This one comes across smelling a little bit synthetic and I hate to use that adjective but that's the clearest way that I can communicate it to my subscribers. I'm not a very big fan of the way that the lavender note is used in this scent and I think it's the com combination or the amount amalgamation of the other spicy nuances in this scent that could come across a little bit off-putting. Now this scent does contain black pepper, it also has coriander, and some people might not like that combination. Now I do think that that's what allows the comparisons to be made between this scent and another one by Yves Saint Laurent called La Nuit de Lum. That one has a lot of cardamom in it, which if of course is a spice and comes off a little powdery. This one has a mild powdery nature to it but it never becomes domineering or overbearing and I actually do like that about this scent. Now the spices um, do tone down in the dry down and then you have some sweet elements which begin to surface and I also think that they serve as redeeming factors to the scent. You have labdanum resin and you have tonka bean. Now the labdanum resin has a vanillic overtone, I would like to call it an exotic vanilla smell and then the tonka bean which is used in like 90 to 95 percent of fragrances also contributes to that vanillic dry down. 
if I may use analogy, an analogy to further explain the difference between this scent and La Nuit de Lum by Yves Saint Laurent, a scent to which this is compared greatly. La Nuit de Lum is the sexy brother. This is the sophisticated brother. La Nuit de Lum is the brother that likes to go to a club and maybe afterwards goes bar hopping, plays a game of beer pong, takes shots of tequila. This is the sophisticated brother who attends a business meeting and then afterwards decides to go to a bar with a couple of his friends, wears a nice dress shirt with a nice tie, nice tie clip, and maybe drinks a dry martini with a couple olives, right? So that's the analogy that I can use to explain the difference between the two. Overall, I do think that this is a nice scent. Yes, the lavender isn't the most natural lavender you're going to smell, but perfume is art and art is imitation of reality. You don't necessarily need this to smell like a lavender garden in order for you to be impressed or even um, satisfied with it. I actually do think it's a nice scent for the occasions for which this is appropriate to be worn. So um, I lastly did not get a compliment on this one, um, but that doesn't necessarily mean that you need to get a compliment in order for you to like this scent. Last up, we have the rating. Thanks. First up, we have uniqueness and overall smell, and I'm gonna give the scent a six out of 10. I don't really like the way that lavender is used in this scent in combination with the spices and I know Olivier Polge, I'm very familiar with his library of fragrances that he's composed and I guess comparing it to Valentino Uomo and Dior Homme and Spice Bomb, this I don't find to be as unique and as creative as some of the other offerings so for that reason and because it didn't cater to my personal preference, I'm going to give this one a 6 out of 10 for uniqueness and overall smell. Next up we have longevity and I'm going to give this an 8 out of 10. I get about 7 to 8 hours on my skin despite the fact that it's eau de toilette concentration. So I think in terms of longevity it performs pretty well. As far as projection though, this is about a 5 out of 10. Now this radiates within an arm's length for about an hour and a half to two hours but because because of the nature of the composition, that might just be what you're going for. You don't want this to be too loud, you don't want it to be cloying, you don't want it to choke anybody out, especially if you're going to wear it to work, right? So I think the projection is about a 5 out of 10. Some people might desire slightly better projection, I'm going to leave that up to you. As far as versatility on the scent goes, I give this a 7 out of 10. Now I do think this is a very versatile scent. I think it has some characteristics of a men's fragrance, so for that reason, I can't really call this one unisex, but of course anyone can wear whatever they like. Just a recommendation. As far as seasons go, I think because of the lack of performance, this would work better in the hotter weather, but because of the compositional nature, it would work well in the cold weather as well. So I see this one being a year-round scent. I think I would probably say this is like 25 and up or even 30 and up, just because it kind of gives off a little bit of a mature feel because of the lavender and the spices. And uh, lastly, we have presentation. I told you guys what I think about that. The distribution is great. It's a unique bottle, but I don't think it's anything special. I'm gonna give it a seven out of 10. And overall, I'm gonna give F by Ferragamo Black a seven out of 10. I think that this is a very nice scent. I actually, uh, it's not a favorite of mine, but I appreciate what Olivier Polge did with this composition. I think it is a different take on lavender and one that's gonna be polarizing. So this is definitely a scent to sample before you buy, but I do find this one to be a great work scent. I probably would just avoid wearing this on a date because you don't really know if the chick is gonna dig it. Um, but I think this would work really well in a suit and tie or shirt and tie perfect for those types of occasions. So there you have it guys, thank you so much for watching. That was my review of F by Ferragamo Black. If you own or have tried this scent, please let me know what you think by leaving a comment down below. Also, please don't forget to rate and subscribe for future videos. So again, everyone, thank you very much for watching. This has been Steven with another fragrance review from Red Essence, and we'll see you soon.